Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be going through an AccuFlow guide or AccuFlow tutorial. And so this is specifically for people who want to learn more about AccuFlow and are interested in actually getting started with it. So I come from a background of having used Notion, Asana, Trello. I've tried using pen and paper before as well. And I still do use pen and paper, but AccuFlow is like my main source hub right now as far as like organizing my business goes and organizing my life goes. So if you haven't signed up for AccuFlow just yet, you can use my link down below to try it out for free for seven days and you also get $25 of credit so that seven days and that $25 credit should be more than enough time to allow you to try AccuFlow for free and see if it's right for you. Once you actually sign up for AccuFlow using the link down below, I'm going to go from a left to right sequence and explain what we're actually looking at. So on the left hand side, what we first have off is something called the inbox. And so these are tasks which basically don't have an assigned date to them. So here are a list of my tasks. So I have to schedule an international license, I have to schedule a haircut, I have to book train tickets, book a car. And then with that, underneath that, we have the today tab. So these are all the tasks that I have today. And then we have the upcoming tab, which are basically tasks that are up and coming and some that are overdue. And then we have the all tasks view, which are basically all the tasks that you've done uh, previously history. And you can actually organize it by tags as well. Now, moving on from that, down below, we have different ways to actually organize your tasks on AccuFlow. So I organize mine based on uh, TikTok shop tasks. I organize mine by YouTube tasks. I organize mine by house duties, Amazon tasks, and then relationships. In order to actually add a task on AccuFlow, what you, have, what you can do is first you can actually click on this add to task here manually. But what I really love is the shortcut command spacebar. Oh, sorry, option spacebar. So if you click on option spacebar, this is going to appear no matter what browser or window you're on. So this is where I quickly add tasks and it's super convenient for me because as someone who works from home and as someone who basically wants to find like the best productivity when it comes to adding both personal and business tasks, the option spacebar just makes it super convenient. So let's pretend later today I need to cook dinner. So I can either add, a, add, add it as a task or add it as an event. So the good thing about AccuFlow is that it actually understands, I forgot what the terminology for it is called, but it understands like grammar or language. So if I say cook dinner at 6 p.m. today, you see how it highlights purple. That means it's going to schedule this task for 6 p.m. today. But if I say cook dinner on October 31st at 12 p.m., that means it knows that I need to cook dinner on October 31st at 12 p.m. I can add this as either a task or an event. Tasks for me are more actionable. Events are more so like places that I need to go to or appointments that I need to meet. And I use this tab quite a bit. There's multiple different ways you can kind of label your tasks based on time slot, duration. You can give it a tag. And so if we do new task, we'll just input it. You're gonna see the task was created successfully. And so where it appears is actually, let me see where that went, cook dinner. So as you can see, the task was assigned to October 31st at 12 p.m. for a duration of 30 minutes. If you want to edit a task, you can click on the task itself. You can change the date from here. You can change the time. You can change the duration. You could actually get it to repeat. So repeating tasks are something that I have commonly for my business and you can see where it's been assigned to. You can add a short description here, you can add a link. AccuFlow just recently introduced AI categorizations. So for this task that you see here, cook dinner, it automatically categorized it under house chores, which makes sense, this is technically a house chore. So let me go ahead and delete this task over here. Now as far as adding events goes, so you click command spacebar, let's say, um, Wednesday, I have flight to Italy on Wednesday at 6 p.m. So if I put this as an event, we're actually going to see it appear here. So this is the t event that I now added where it says flight to Italy on Wednesday at October 16th at 6 p.m. And if I click on it, you can add guests, you can add a location. So if I want to put the location of the airport, you can add a description. And with that, with AccuFlow, again, moving from a left to right sequence, uh, I've already showed you one command key, which was option spacebar. Now, if you want to use more commands, okay, I highly recommend 
that you go through all of their kind of shortcuts to expedite different ways you can organize your calendar. But right now I have a calendar view which shows five days. If I press number four on my keyboard, it's gonna show four days. If I press three, it's gonna show three days. If I press two, it's gonna show one day. If I press M, it's gonna show the month. And if I press T, it's gonna to show today's tasks. So this is a really convenient way to actually go ahead and, and get a, a general overview of how many days you wanna actually show an AccuFlow all the way up to seven days to a monthly view. Now, again, short, Cuts are your friend here when it comes to using AccuFlow efficiently. If you want to, you could actually click on calendar settings and then you could actually go through the different viewpoints. So here's one, two, three. And if you hover over the viewpoints, it'll tell you what the shortcut key is. So if I press three, it's gonna show me three days. And now the calendar view itself, let's actually show two days. You can see all the tasks that I have listed out for here today. Today I have some calls, I have breakfast routine, lunch routine, I have a meeting later, I have a mastermind meeting later as well. And then with that, if I click on M, you can see my monthly view, get a journal overview here. You can connect multiple calendars to AccuFlow as well. So if I go ahead and click on this upper right hand corner, click on settings, and then click on calendars. This, this is where you can see all your calendars that you have connected and you can connect mo all sorts of different calendars. If you click on integrations, you can see all the integrations that we have here. If you click on AI, you can do auto assign projects, how it works. So this is a newly introduced feature that AccuFlow just started doing. Now with that being said, AccuFlow, I do have it connected on my iPad, I have it connected on my laptop, I have it connected on my phone. Uh, likewise, I use a lot of the key functions and this is, helps organize my day. Now, towards the end of the day, they have something called uh, rituals. And so rituals are basically AccuFlow's feature in which it helps you review your current day and then it helps you plan your next day. So on the bottom left hand corner, if you see here, you can add tags to multiple tasks. Here are statistics. So if you click on statistics, it's gonna show you how many tasks you completed, how much time you spent working, um, time and events, so it's just a general overview as far as like statistics go. I don't really use statistics, statistics all too much. If you click on daily planning, this is what's gonna show you what you've done yesterday, what you currently have to do, and what you have upcoming tomorrow. If we exit out of here, next review today, so you can see all the events I have, the inbox. You can set a goal. So maybe there's a particular goal that you wanna use AccuFlow for. So let's say today, I need to cancel my MGM membership. I can use this as a goal just so that I have like one singular task to actually focus on when it comes to planning my days out. Now, other things I liked about AccuFlow is because I have a lot of free time on like my Tuesdays and Thursdays, if someone needs to book a call with me, this is a really neat feature where, okay, let me change it to a two day view. So let's say I, someone needs to book a call with me. There's this share availab availability feature where if you click on it, you're gonna be able to highlight certain areas of your calendar. So I just simply click and drag, click and drag, and then click and drag. And then if you click on save and copy, what that's gonna look like is that it's gonna give you an available list of times that someone can meet with you. So this is the auto-generated message that you see here. Would any of these times work for you for a 30 minute meeting? So Monday, October 14th, 6.15 to 7 p.m., 7.15 to 8.15. So if you go ahead and click on the actual link, it opens up and so from here, people can actually schedule a meeting with you. So the duration is 30 minutes, it's gonna be on Google Meets. I use this quite a bit, okay, to actually schedule calls that are not necessarily weekly calls but it really gives you a good basis as far as like, okay, if I have openings here, I can actually copy and paste these uh, openings and send it to someone all up with a click of the button. So this share availability feature is extremely useful. I've used it multiple times. Now underneath that, we have a meet with. I don't really use AccuFlow for Teams, but AccuFlow for Teams is supposedly really good when it comes to team members all using it. So if I wanted to actually see someone else's calendar, I could do that through AccuFlow. Uh, likewise, pin team members, you can see different team members' um, uh, calendars as well. And you can have like different calendar views. This is what I use as well. So if you go over this red and blue circle icon, you can see all the different calendar views that I have. So let's say I made something called like my ideal calendar, 
which is basically like how I want my ideal week to go. So if I go ahead and toggle that off, it's going to uh, toggle off my ideal calendar. But if I toggle it on, it's going to show up. But if I want to take out, let's say, my wife's work days, I take that off. If I wanted to see what her work days are, toggle it back on. You can sync multiple calendars together. Like for me, for example, I have my work calendar, a personal calendar. I have an ideal work week calendar, and then I have my wife's calendar. So with my wife's calendar, I can toggle it on and off as well. Now, with AkiFlow, again, I come from a standpoint of having used Motion, Notion, uh, Trello, Google Calendar. I really like AkiFlow just because it syncs up with a lot of things as well. As I mentioned earlier, if you go into settings, it can integrate with Trello, it can integrate with Slack, it can integrate with Zoom, it can integrate with Notion, it can practically integrate with anything. And so AkiFlow for me has been like my central hub as far as getting things uh, done and connecting all my work applications. So the main things that I use right now for business are just AkiFlow, Google Calendar, and that is set up meetings. And also Trello and Slack. And so with that, AkiFlow itself, I mean, it's not like it's going to eliminate the need for all these project management tools. But AccuFlow for me is just a good way to kind of organize my life and plan out events in both business and personal and just kind of, again, increase my productivity. So I've been using it for about three to four months now, or no, not three to four months. I'd say about six to seven months. I really, really do love it. I think it's a great, great software. But even so, now if you haven't tried AccuFlow just yet, I highly recommend that you at least give it a shot for free for seven days. And if you use my link down below, like I mentioned, you'll actually get $25 of credit as well. So that's all I have for this video, guys. And so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care.